Suzuki DRZ400S. Review Extremely Durable Dual Purpose Bike. If you are looking for a bike that is the perfect companion for exploring your local green lanes on, look no further than a Suzuki DRZ400S. Although there were a few DRZ400 models before the S, and a DR350 before the 400, the original one only had a kickstart and while the E did have an electric starter and was road legal, it isn't as refined as the later S and is more a legalized enduro than a proper dual-purpose trail bike like the S. Why is this important? Riding the trails is only a small part of what a DRZ400S can do and with its pillion pegs, mirrors, softer engine tune and full instruments, the S makes for a good commuter as well as a weekend green lane explorer. Ride Quality and Brakes you have to remember that the DRZ400S was designed as a dual-purpose trail bike and that means there are a few compromises in terms of its handling. The skinny 21-inch front wheel is the perfect size for knobbly tires, or semi-knobbly if you are doing mainly road miles, but due to its size and width it can feel a little vague on the road, especially in the wet. The suspension is also built with off-road in mind and that means a wallowy ride, the weight of a pillion makes the shock almost hit the end of its travel, and the single two-piston front caliper is pretty weak in its performance. However all of this is to be expected from an enduro bike and if you want more road performance, there is an alternative. Engine The DRZ's single-cylinder motor is a good old-fashioned plotter and with a double overhead cam, four valves and a water jacket is hardly being stressed to produce 39 brake horsepower and 29 feet lb of torque. The fact it has an electric start is a major bonus for anyone looking at trail riding and so is its reliability. Owners report that in terms of mechanical failures, the single is very solid and your main worry comes from things vibrating loose. Reliability and build quality. The fact there are so many DRZs still plotting about the UK's trails tells you all you need to know. This is a very reliable bike and while the build quality may not be that amazing, the fact the little Suzuki simply refuses to give up is what makes it special. The main area of concern when buying a used one is how much off-road it is done as the jolts and bangs can create issues. Always inspect all the bearings, headstock, wheel, swing arm, as these are often badly worn, check the wheel rims for dents, the spokes for broken or rusty items, the exhaust for dents and holes and most importantly, the radiator for leaks. As the DR has fork gaiters it can be tricky to check the seals for leaks, however this is worth doing as it is a nuisance to have them replaced. With the bike upright, have a good look down the length of the bike from the rear to see if the bars are straight, check the levers haven't been bent and then forced straight again and ensure all the electrics work as they can be a weak point. Value versus Rivals As it is fairly old and not that powerful, insurance is cheap on a DRZ and with 70 miles per gallon easily achievable, it isn't that costly to run either, especially if you do all your own servicing. There is nothing to be feared when it comes to basic maintenance on a DRZ and if you are at all bothered, there are loads of how-to videos online when it comes to the basics. In terms of buying one, the DRZ isn't really much of a bargain, 